Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to Mind the Wet Floor. My name is Lamont and I'd like to thank you so very much for choosing to click on this video out of the vast number of options I'm sure you have on your YouTube feed right now. If you're a new viewer, please make sure to click that subscribe button and also check out the 10 other episodes of Mind the Wet Floor that have already dropped on this channel. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so very much for joining me and I hope you've enjoyed the content that I have produced and shared thus far and I hope that you also enjoy this video that you're about to watch today. Without further ado, on today's video I'm going to be doing something which I consider a sort of dressing up slash dressing down challenge where I pick items which I believe people generally have in their wardrobe. So for example today, as you can see to my left I have a pair of blue denim jeans and on my right I have a pair of black trousers which I'm going to be attempting to show you guys how to style in a casual manner if you will and in a more upscale classy chic quote unquote sophisticated look if you will now with these two items as I've already stated I've sp picked them specifically because I believe they're items that most people generally have in their wardrobe obviously things such as the cut and maybe like the tailoring of the two items may vary and the results may vary as they say but generally I believe most people should have a variation of this in their wardrobe, so should be able to pull most of these looks off in their own different ways. Today I'm gonna start off with the blue denim jeans, which are to my left. I have a plain white t-shirt with the blue denim jeans. Just a nice, simple, classic look. I prefer to wear these specific jeans a bit higher on the waist, just because I want them to really be sort of cropped in the bottom and slightly reveal the sock a little bit. Also, it just looks better. I feel like it makes your, it accentuates your figure a little bit more. I know that's weird to say as a man, but it really does lift up your like torso and upper body and make you seem a bit more composed, if you will, and a bit more burly in a little way. So I like wearing my jeans this way. Also, if you have a mocap such as myself, it helps hide that a little bit and also just you know it makes your torso seem a lot flatter and really builds and brings the focus onto the entire outfit also it makes you appear taller very slightly because it makes it look like your legs are a bit longer than they actually are on the shoes just have my Reeboks which if you saw my previous video you've already seen them but if not these are my pink Reebok Daytona DMX's which I got online on the Reebok store but I'm sure you can probably find them in a shop somewhere if you're really really looking for them or I can put the link in the description to these shoes if you're looking to buy them if they're still available. For look number two, still wearing the plain white t-shirt and the blue denim jeans, but this time I've decided to put a blazer on top of the entire look. That way it makes it look more classy, if you will, even though I hate that term, but it does make it look, it, put, it brings everything together in a strange way and it also just makes you, I don't know if people get this feeling, but a lot of the time when you're wearing a coat or something over your clothing, you just feel a bit more presentable and makes you a bit more confident in the look that you're trying to present. So here I have a double breasted blazer and wool that I picked up from a vintage kilo sale a couple of years ago. Now I believe it's in navy blue. If you wish to buy something like this again, as I've just mentioned, I picked it up at a vintage sale. So wherever you're watching this from, whether it's a flea market, um, if you have access to a flea ma market, vintage stores, vintage kilo sales, or some sort of just large scale vintage market, I'm sure if you search hard enough, you'll be able to come across something similar to this at a very low price. People also have tons of boutiques online that sell similar items. So go check those out if you're looking for something like that. And that is look number two. Basically didn't change anything, which to show, just shows how easy it is to really change sort of the perception or the perspective on an outfit just by adding a simple code or something really as easy as that. On outfit number three, again, this is obviously going to be a bit more useful if you live in a colder country where you can afford to wear coats more often and it doesn't look crazy. Where I am right now, it's boiling hot. I know I'm saying this, but I'm wearing like a 
beanie and a hoodie indoors but i'm indoors but generally it's usually a bit more it's a bit warmer and the climate's a bit warmer but if you live in a cooler country then you can definitely wear this look or in the winter just a simple coat again try to keep everything within the same color scheme and try to go too crazy because well i just wanted to keep simple if everything simple for myself and keep everything simple for you guys watching this so you can make your own variation of these outfits of course on the shoes i paired this with a pair of doc martin i'm not going to try and remember what the exact number is but they're a pair of doc martin chelsea boots with the yellow threads around the sole again if you've watched this channel or if you've been following this channel you've probably seen me wearing these shoes in past episodes they're probably my go-to shoe every day one because i don't mind them getting dusty because because they're leather shoes i can just dust them off clean them relatively simply they don't give me too much of a hassle of course they're a bit heavy but i don't mind that giveaway because they're just less of a less of an issue to clean than your sneakers or whatever especially if you're walking around a lot and you know you're going to different places where you're not sure if it's dusty or if it's paved so just to save myself of all that stress buy yourself a pair of something like this it's easy to maintain easy to clean it's probably on the pricier side of all the things that i've mentioned so far just because well they are very durable shoes and they're meant to last you a very long time so i'd understand why someone might be sort of repelled from buying them but i can guarantee you have had them for had them for two years now but bear in mind that in those two years mine might look a bit more worn than usual but that's because i wear them almost every day if not every day like i wear them more than i wear any other pair of shoes in my wardrobe for the reasons that i've just mentioned so given bearing that in mind in the different places that i frequent I'd highly recommend buying yourself a pair of shoes like these. The more common ones obviously are the lace-up Doc Martens that people tend to wear. Not really a fan of those again because they're very common so I went for the laceless option instead which I think sits beautifully and just works with everything you can wear the lace-up boots with. So there we go. Three outfits if you will even though it's technically the same outfit with the same jacket but with the blue denim jeans. Obviously, you can swap out whatever pair of shoes you want to wear. You don't necessarily have to wear boots. You can wear creepers if you have any. If you're a guy with like Oxfords, you can wear those as well. I'll do a separate video of maybe detailing more why I choose this specific pair of shoes with these pair of jeans because it all had it all has to do with the cut of the jean. So with more straight leg -like jeans, boots, and uh, chunkier soled shoes, in my opinion, just tend to look better. So if you're going to wear brogues or something, they have to have a bit of a chunkier sole than your regular um, dress shoes. Because yeah, it just looks strange wearing like long nosed shoes and Oxfords or monk straps or whatever with straight leg jeans. Whereas with skinny jeans, it might look better, but I've sort of transitioned out of the skinny jean thing. And I don't really like skinny jeans with blazers anyway, because I look, it looks, I think it looks kind of strange and never, it just, it just irks me when I see like a blazer and skinny jeans. So I'd highly recommend you try this look with more straight leg jeans. Hopefully that aren't too lengthy. That can be a bit more cropped. If you don't have anything like that, um, you can obviously do this with chinos as well. Or yeah, I don't know if people still wear corduroys. You wear with corduroys as well. Which brings me to the second pair of trousers, which are these black straight leg i believe i'd have to actually check what the actual fit is uh doesn't actually say but yeah there are these black sort of tapered leg trousers that i bought from all saints um on sale obviously because you know me if you watch the channel you know me everything <laughs> everything's always bought on sale especially from stores which are on the pricier end so don't watch this video and think that i'm blowing the massive bag on a lot of things just know how to shop smarter and you can get a lot of things that you want but anyway moving on to the black pair of trousers this time kept the plain white t-shirt again because i think it's something that everyone should have or everyone can afford to buy if they don't already have it um paired these with the black tapered trousers kept it simple this time swapped out the pink pair of reeboks for a different pair of reeboks if you haven't already if you can't already tell i'm a big fan of reebok shoes so i've got these classic reeboks in black with the white stripes paired with the plain white t-shirt 
black trousers, really simple, white socks, you can wear black socks as well if you wish to. The accessories are obviously the key in these. In this shot, all I've got are the bracelets, which I'm currently wearing in two different colorways. So those are the bracelets, you can pair this with rings, but the idea of this entire video is to keep things as simple as possible. Coming in at outfit number two, still with the black trousers, this time I've decided to switch out the plain white t-shirt for a plain shirt, and I've paired that with yet another double breast fit suit. This time it's in a lighter blue, a more royal blue, if you will, I believe is the color. Um, it's royal blue pinstripe suit, double breasted. I mean, what do I really have to say about this outfit? I think it looks pretty sick. The, of course, the royal blue double-breasted blah 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 suit. That kind of suit isn't very... I, I don't... well, yeah, typically probably wouldn't be as accessible, but I just like this suit. Obviously, if you have something in a navy blue or gray, it doesn't have to be double-breasted. It can be just single breast, single button or double button. Try not to do more than two buttons in my opinion, because uh, then we're like going into a bit creepy territory. Also, I just never like the way those kinds of things sit. For this video, I've paired this with a pair of my beloved Cuban heel Chelsea boots in black, which for all intents and purposes, just go great with anything, in my opinion. I could have worn these with the jeans if I wanted to, they would have looked good. The idea for all of these, whether you're wearing skinny jeans, whether you're wearing chinos, um, more like trousers or pants, tailored, straight tape, whatever you're wearing. For most outfits, this type of shoe, in my opinion, just goes beautifully with all of that. So if you can, and if you're able to afford them, I'd highly recommend you buy yourself a pair or something close enough to it, because, I mean, you could probably tell just from looking at it, they just look great with everything. Don't worry about not being able to pull it off, I can assure you. If you wear it with confidence, people believe it and people buy it. And there you have it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Just like to summarize, I think the key points in styling your wardrobe and really trying to find your own personal style are for you to start out simple. Don't try to go crazy with the colors and the patterns and the you know, contrast and color blocking and all that sort of stuff. In my personal opinion, I would like to recommend that most people who are trying to find their own style try to start with simple colors and putting simple colors together because that is the easiest way to one, find the colors that complement your skin tone, two, find the clothes that fit you the best and the type of fits that complement your body type and your body structure. So just based on those two things, I think you can really find your own lane. And then once you become more comfortable in those two aspects, you can then progress into more colorful and more daring outfits, if you will. Secondly, as you could probably tell, the key to sort of style hierarchy, if you will, with these sort of things is really what what you wear on top of the outfit, like what you wear as the outerwear piece or how you accessorize it for most occasions. So if you're, for example, gonna wear the pair of jeans, throw a blazer on top of that, you're good for most things, of course, unless it's a black tie event, then you probably can't wear jeans to it. But for most other occasions, I'm pretty sure if you have a pair of jeans, that fit you relatively well and are clean again. You pair that with a clean blazer, a nice white shirt. Depending on where you're going, you get a pair of shoes that complements that occasion and boom, you're good to go. With a black pair of trousers, typically more formal. Obviously I've used more sort of formal trousers if you will, but you can pull this off just as well with chinos. They fit you the right way. You can pull this off with, what's the other pair? Like black denim jeans. So the keys, keep everything clean, keep everything simple. Don't be too audacious when you're trying to find your initial things. You can step out a little bit depending on the occasion, but if you're really trying to organize your wardrobe and build your wardrobe, I suggest just starting simple. Start with the very basic items and start with the lowest 
quote unquote common denominator that everyone should have on your wardrobe and then build from there. And once you get more confident and more comfortable in the clothes that you wear and that you have, then you can start to experiment with more color and more silhouettes, more accessories and just build that way. And that way you, at the end, you have a great wardrobe, you have a great selection of things, simplicity, that's like that Capitec the Capitec um, quote from many years ago, simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. Entirely true. Keep everything simple. If you have the right fits and if it's tailored or sits the right way, then voila, you have a tight outfit. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see a part two of this video, which I probably do anyway. So be on the lookout for that. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, this has been Mind the Wet Floor with Lamont. Take care. Peace.